This star of Harry Potter is probably the most beautiful woman in the world. 20 years ago, the Harry Potter novels and films by J.K. Rowling captivated the entire globe. However, what's transpired with the cherished characters in the interim? What have Harry and the other students attending Hogwarts been doing since the conclusion of the worldwide phenomenon? Many of them experienced peculiar career developments. The drastic transformation in the lives of the Harry Potter actors is truly remarkable. Gregory Goyle, Josh Herdman In contrast to his portrayal of Gregory Goyle as a vicious brute in the Harry Potter films, Josh Herdman is an actual mixed martial artist. He followed in the acting career of his father, Martin Herdman, while simultaneously pursuing an independent profession. While his father played rugby league, Josh decided to study mixed martial arts. Nevertheless, he continues to perform as an actor, having appeared in the 2018 Robin Hood film, the British detective series Marcella, and the action television series Alex Rider. Pansy Parkinson, Scarlet Byrne Scarlett Byrne began her career as an actress well in advance of her casting as the supporting character Pansy Parkinson. The character appeared in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 as a malevolent Slytherin. Skybound, Falling Skies, Runaways, and The Vampire Diaries are among her subsequent credits. Currently, Byrne is at work in the short film Stick and Poke, which is about the craft of hand-poked tattoos. Additionally, she's pregnant with her first child with Cooper Hefner, the heir to Playboy, whom she wed in November 2019. Neville Longbottom, Matthew Lewis Despite beginning his acting career at the age of five, Matthew Lewis was cast as Neville Longbottom at the age of 12. In the first few films, Neville Longbottom was an ungainly, bumbling youngster who transformed magically into one of the boldest in Gryffindor. The actor's transformation from a goofy-looking child to a poster boy in real life astounded fans. After that, Terminal, Bluestone 42, Me Before You, and The Syndicate followed in his career. Even the music video for Filth by A Band of Barriers featured him. Hermione Granger, Emma Watson Emma Watson portrayed Hermione Granger, the most intelligent and empathetic witch of her era, and a muggle by birth to widespread acclaim from critics. Emma Watson starred in films including The Perks of Being a Wallflower, The Bling Ring, Beauty and the Beast, and Little Women after completing the Harry Potter series. She also earned a bachelor's degree in English literature and became a UN Women Goodwill Ambassador for the He for She campaign during this period. Boys and males are urged to advocate for gender equality per her. Lucius Malfoy, Jason Isaacs Jason Isaacs performs exceptionally well as a criminal. He embodied the aristocratic progenitor, Lucius Malfoy, in the Harry Potter films to eerie perfection, complete with an ornate cane, white blonde mane, and condescending intonation. Jason Isaacs shared Ivana Lynch's enthusiasm for big novels, having devoured four of them in a single sitting. He's portrayed antagonists in The Patriot, Brotherhood, and The Death of Stalin since his role in Harry Potter. He's also appeared in the television program Scoob, Dig, and Awake. Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe After transforming into Harry Potter at the age of 11, Daniel Radcliffe's existence was irrevocably altered. While the role would bestow upon him notoriety and wealth, but also censure, his performance in the third film was deemed wooden and bland when he was a child. But by the time he reached the fifth film, it had earned him accolades. Radcliffe has since demonstrated his versatility as an actor by starring in films such as the science fiction horror film Victor Frankenstein and the comedy drama Swiss Army Man. Narcissa Malfoy, Helen McCrory British actress Helen Elizabeth McCrory, similar to Robbie Coltrane, was bestowed with an OBE. Additionally, she appeared in a James Bond film Narcissa Malfoy, a supporting character portrayed by McCrory, appeared in the last three Harry Potter films. Polly Gray, however, is the role in Peaky Blinders for which she's received the most critical acclaim. In addition to the Queen, the special relationship, Charlotte Gray, Fearless, and Mother, Father, Son, she's also appeared in the film Charlotte Gray. 
During the pandemic of 2020, McCrory was extremely busy, raising over a million dollars for a food charity. Sadly, McCrory deceased at the age of 52 in 2021. Julianne Ho. Julianne Ho. Diverging from her well-known roles, Julianne Ho, recognized for her dazzling performance in dance and acting, has cultivated a diverse career beyond the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Unlike her magical counterpart, Ho is not only a talented actress, but also an accomplished dancer and singer. Drawing from her early success on Dancing with the Stars, she seamlessly transitioned into acting with notable roles in films like Footloose and Safe Haven. Additionally, Ho has showcased her musical prowess with the release of country albums, demonstrating her multifaceted talents. Despite her versatility, she remains a recognizable face in the entertainment industry, illustrating that her career extends far beyond the enchanting realms of Hogwarts. Dudley Dursley, Harry Melling. Although his performance as Dudley Dursley, his privileged cousin, may not have fully utilized his acting prowess, Harry Melling is descended from an acting family. After his weight loss, he's now available to undertake roles that are notably dissimilar to those he played as Dudley Dursley. Since then, he's appeared in The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, where he received acclaim for critics. Melling has additionally appeared in fantasy television series and films, including The Lost City of Z and Merlin. Dean Thomas, Alfred Enoch. Alfred Enoch was 13 years old when he was cast in the role of Dean Thomas. Following the release of the Harry Potter films, the English-Brazilian actor achieved prominence and acclaim for his performance as Wes Gibbons, the protagonist of the legal drama How to Get Away with Murder. He has appeared in several Shakespearean productions, including King Lear, Timon of Athens, and Coriolanus. Additionally, he appeared in the film Trust Me and is presently producing Provisional Measure. Draco Malfoy, Tom Felton Comparable in stature to Gryffindor, Draco Malfoy represents Slytherin. He aided Dumbledore in his demise in The Half-Blood Prince, which was arguably his darkest hour. However, it was all a component of a more extensive scheme to dethrone Voldemort. So we suppose we can somewhat pardon him. Although Felton has yet to surpass the level of notoriety established by his portrayal of Draco, he has since appeared in several other critically acclaimed film franchises, most notably the recent reboot of the Planet of the Apes series. Colin Creevy, Hugh Mitchell. Do you recall the child photographer who was hairy obsessed and would seize every opportunity to fawn over him? Indeed, we're discussing Colin Creevy. In the film, he embodied the collective Potterhead household. Hugh Mitchell has maintained a low-key acting career since his Potter comeback, starring in films such as Wallander, The White Queen, and The Da Vinci Code as Silas, among others. Hugh maintained his allegiance to Colin's photography ardor, as demonstrated by his Instagram account. Cedric Diggory, Robert Pattinson Although Robert Pattinson's portrayal of vampire Edward Cullen in the Twilight Saga drew ridicule, he'd previously been lauded for his performance as the attractive Hufflepuff prefect, Cedric Diggory, in Harry Potter. Subsequently, he's amassed an impressive acting career. Prominent performances in films include Remember Me, Water for Elephants, and The Lighthouse have expeditiously positioned him as a significant actor. Bruce Wayne will be his most recent portrayal in the movie The Batman. Ron Weasley, Rupert Grint. Harry Potter certainly could not have accomplished half of what he did without his closest companion, Ron Weasley. Harry was accompanied by the archetypal companion for the most lovable family in the entire story, and they even ended up together in Hermione after the tale. Presently, Rupert Grint is progressively establishing himself as a respected actor, having appeared in recent seasons of Servant, Sick Note, and Snatch. Albus Dumbledore, Michael Gambon. Professor Albus Dumbledore was portrayed by Sir Michael John Gambon in the final few Harry Potter films. He flawlessly embodied the legendarily powerful sorcerer who possessed an acute intellect and a kind heart. An insight into the British Irish actor's true appearance beneath his long white goatee and tresses can be observed in the films The King's Speech, Fortitude, Judy, and Cordelia. He has an entirely distinct appearance after shaving. Currently, he's cast in James Joyce's film, James and Lucia. Professor Flitwick, 
Warwick Davis. Although English actor Warwick Davis sounds like a wizard himself, he portrayed the charms master of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry under the moniker Professor Flitwick in the Harry Potter films. He's appeared in the Leprechaun film series and Return of the Jedi as an Ewok and a Leprechaun, respectively. Willow Management was established by Warwick Davis, who was born with an uncommon form of dwarfism to ensure that actors under five feet were adequately represented. Fleur Delacour, Clemens Posey. A rival from a different academic institution, Fleur Delacour was portrayed by Clemens Posey in The Goblet of Fire, the fourth installment of the franchise she debuted. This French actress has maintained a steady pace of production since the conclusion of the series. She's appeared in several films such as 127 Hours, In Bruges, The Heartless, Nevertheless. She's appeared in several films such as 127 Hours, In Bruges, and Heartless. Nevertheless, she has a vocation that transcends the film industry. She's been featured in several French and international publications. Tenant, her most recent film to date, was helmed by Christopher Nolan. Amos Diggory, Jeff Rawl. That's my son, in fact, that's my boy, are exclamations we vividly recall. The extent to which Jeff Rawl seized the scene in the Goblet of Fire by portraying Amos Diggory's reaction to the death of his child is not nearly enough recognition. His performance continues to cause our souls to anguish. Jeff Rawl, who's been active since the 1970s, has appeared in a multitude of films and television programs. Billy Lyre, Drop the Dead Donkey, and Holly Oaks are among his finest compositions. Severus Snape, Alan Rickman. The roles that Alan Rickman has appeared in include Die Hard, Galaxy Quest, and Sense and Sensibility had earned him considerable notoriety. His subsequent ascent to prominence was attributed to his performance as Severus Snape, a rigid professor of alchemy in Harry Potter. In the series' eighth installment, he moved the entire audience to tears with his selfless deed toward Harry Potter. The unfortunate development occurred in January 2016 when Rickman succumbed to pancreatic cancer subsequent to an extended battle. Vernon Dursley, Richard Griffiths Although Richard Griffiths is widely recognized for his role as Uncle Vernon, his notoriety predates the Harry Potter franchise, owing to his significant roles in Gandhi, Sleepy Hollow, and other films. During the production of Harry Potter, he also appeared in notable films such as Bedtime Stories and Lost in Love. Griffiths joined Pirates of the Caribbean, another significant franchise, following his work on Harry Potter. Griffiths succumbed to cardiac surgery-related complications in 2013. Regarding Time was his last film role. Luna Lovegood, Ivana Lynch Ivana Lynch, in contrast to her fellow Harry Potter performers, lacked prior acting experience prior to being appointed as Luna Lovegood in the final four films. A child fascinated with the novels, she initiated a letter-to-letter -letter exchange with J.K. Rowling regarding the subject matter. The Irish actress subsequently appeared in My Name is Emily, Danny, The Human Zoo, and Madness in the Method. Additionally, she reached the finale of Dancing with the Stars. She currently holds the position of an animal rights activist. Argus Filch, David Bradley Argus Filch, the individual who, for better or worse, haunts the corridors of Hogwarts, was first introduced to the audience in the opening film of the franchise. David Bradley has repeatedly delivered outstanding performances, including in roles such as Argus Filch and Walder Frey. Presently, he is serving as a guest juror on the television series Great British Menu. Additionally, he'll provide the voice of Mr. Geppetto in the animated film adaptation of Pinocchio. Seamus Finnegan, Devin Murray The commencement of Devin Murray's voyage with Harry Potter was dramatic. The teenage actor had nearly simultaneously been cast in two productions, Gangs of New York and Harry Potter. Fortunately, he was selected for the former. He's contributed to several additional initiatives in addition to the franchise. He did not, nevertheless, pursue an acting career following his Harry Potter years. Murray maintains communication with his followers in the present day via social media platforms. Nearly Headless Nick, John Cleese Although his comical portrayal of the Gryffindor Phantom, Nearly Headless Nick, was largely disregarded in the Harry Potter films, those who did find it amusing were in for a treat. Particularly humorous was his failure to join the Headless Hunt, despite his best efforts. 
John Cleese was a co-founder of the absurd comedy troupe Monty Python in his personal life. In addition to appearing in three Monty Python films and the immensely successful Faulty Tower series, he's appeared in Monty Python's Flying Circus. Mundungus Fletcher, Andy Linden Andy Linden, despite not being the most adored character in the series, utilized his limited screen time to effectively convey the storyline's formidable influence as Mundungus Fletcher. Since he began his acting career in the mid-1990s, he's remained active. His film and television credits include, among others, Oliver Twist, Stella, Count Arthur Strong, The Visitor, and Not Going Out. Dolores Umbridge, Imelda Staunton Devoted admirers of the antagonist Dolores Umbridge, who had read the Harry Potter series prior to watching the films, were ecstatic with Imelda Staunton's portrayal in both films. She's everything we envision the character to be and more. Following her flawless performance, Imelda was presented with numerous offers to appear in films and theater productions. Five times she received an Olivier Award nomination. It's well known that the fifth attempt is successful. She at last received recognition for her work in Gypsy. Fenrir Greyback, Dave Legano. Although the actual Dave Legano and his werewolf persona, Fenrir Greyback, are unlike anything else, that does not diminish Dave's brilliance as an actor. David contributed to several successful films and television series during his brief 20 year career, including Batman Begins, The Raven, Bonded by Blood, and most notably, Last Nights. However, his untimely death in 2014 from heat stroke brought an end to his career. We lost Dave and additional talent all too soon. Fred Weasley, James Phelps. James Phelps portrayed the renowned Weasley twins, Fred Weasley. Together, they resolved to forego school one day in order to attend the Harry Potter auditions. Aren't we all incredibly grateful that they did so? Their personalities were so well suited to the characters that they were able to transition instantly by simply changing the color of their hair from brown to ginger. James continued to perform after the franchise concluded. Presently, he remains active in film and television, showcasing a blend of mischief, comedy, and brilliance. George Weasley, Oliver Phelps Oliver Phelps, in addition to his sibling James, assumed the role of George Weasley. Furthermore, they have managed mischief their way into our affections. It remained challenging for the renowned pair to operate independently, even after the conclusion of the series. They continued to feature in shows and films together, including Danny and the Human Zoo and Kingdom, among others. Oliver ultimately chose to retire from acting and is presently engaged in travel and sports vlogging through the creation of web content. Victor Krum, Stanislav Yanevsky. Stanislav Yanevsky, a Bulgarian actor, assumed the character of Victor Krum. As soon as he appeared in the Goblet of Fire, his muscular physique captured the affections of many of the women. We all stood in astonishment as he escorted Hermione to the Yule Ball in awe. Since completing Harry Potter, Yanevsky's acting career has been relatively low-key. His appearances on Sophia Residence in Excess and Undercover amounted to a mere three and nine episodes, respectively. This summer, he's scheduled to attend LeakyCon Orlando. Gilderoy Lockhart, Kenneth Branagh If the Harry Potter franchise was consistent in any way, it was the introduction of a different Defense Against the Dark Arts instructor in each installment. Kenneth was recruited for the Chamber of Secrets, and his inclusion among the franchise's British actors was among the most notable. He directed and starred in numerous Shakespearean adaptations, including Henry V, Othello, Hamlet, and more, in addition to his role in Harry Potter. For these productions, he received numerous nominations for Best Actor, Best Director, and Best Screenplay. Remus Lupin, David Thewlis Although it initially appeared to be an adversary of Harry's in The Prisoner of Azkaban, Remus quickly developed into a devoted ally. Surprisingly, David Thewlis was cast as Remus rather than Peter Pettigrew, for which he initially auditioned. Thulis has remained extremely active in film and television since his tenure as Remus, starring in films including Wonder Woman. A prominent role he also played in season three of Fargo was that of the antagonist V.M. Varga. Moreover, Thulis will appear in Avatar 3. Cho Chang, Katie Lung Harry and Cho Chang, who were introduced so early in the narrative that they share a passionate kiss in The Order of the Phoenix, developed a particularly close connection early on. 
Additionally, directly in front of Cedric Diggory's photograph. In all honesty, Chang's most significant contributions have been to the Harry Potter films. However, she did play a nurse in the film T2 Train Spotting in a supporting capacity. She has since also worked extensively in the theater 